Hi, this is our PNC Senior Design Capstone Project. PNC is acquiring approximately 700 new ATMs from BBVA. PNC has limited knowledge of BBVA's current ATM operations and wants to know how they compare to the current PNC ATMs. PNC would like to ensure that the BBVA ATMs are cost-effective and operate similarly to the PNC ATMs. To do this analysis, we created some comparisons between PNC and BBVA. The first thing we looked at is the maximum holding amount, which is the highest amount that a bank can hold in their ATM at one time. We found that PNC has a higher average maximum holding amount than BBVA. The second thing we looked at was the service frequency. We found that PNC ATMs are serviced more frequently than BBVA ATMs. The third thing we looked at was the market. We found that most BBVA ATMs are located at branch offsite locations, whereas the PNC ATMs are located in a more variety of different places. The next thing we looked at was clusters. We created clusters based on similar qualities between the ATMs. These qualities were demand, variance of demand, required fill, and seasonality. Doing this allowed us to have more relevant comparisons between the banks. Looking at the cost analysis here, you'll immediately notice that PNC and BBVA flop spots in the lead in terms of their monthly costs for average residual costs and average emergency cash order costs. However, if you look at the annual costs, you'll notice that PNC is far, far ahead that BBVA is with $37,114,314 in total costs, while BBVA is at $1,044,311. This is mostly due to BBVA. And sees higher demand and more customers. This is depicted on this bottom right graph here with PNC's cash points being represented by the orange dots and BBVA's cash points represented by the purple. Due to this lower demand that BBVA experiences, they have less total costs on average than PNC ATMs. This allows them to have a more aggressive approach in how they manage their ATMs and they have lower residual costs but higher emergency cash order costs. We broke it down to the clusters one, two, and six because these are the clusters maintain most of the ATMs that we analyzed here. If you look at the cost of each cluster, you'll notice that it totals to $29,692,146. However, most of these costs are coming from the vendors that PNC is dealing with, and that is depicted on the bottom right graph. If you look at the bottom right graph closer, you'll see that the out-of-cash instances are much lower for PNC, and some of the clusters actually do not include BBVA ATMs due to the fact that their management and their performance was not applicable. PNC operates at a higher cost than BBVA for clusters one, two, and six. Once we completed the cost analysis, we moved on to the recommendations. To create these, we used the historical demand data to simulate results while altering factors such as setting an EC order point and changing the order amount. We individualized the recommendations for the main clusters of 1, 2, and 6 to result in less out-of-cash instances while maintaining costs as shown in the chart. The remaining clusters are recommended to remain on a per ATM basis due to their variability. The overall impact and expected benefits of these recommendations will lead to lowering out-of-cash instances by about 45% in the entire PNC network. It will also maintain or slightly decrease variable costs for PNC ATMs by lowering EC costs and residuals. Finally, we will simplify and increase consistency for ATM management by having more structured management guides to follow. Thank you for watching our presentation.